Well, hello everyone. I noticed a problem a couple days, uh, a few days ago, uh, that needed to be addressed. That mosquito is flying around trying to kill it. Uh, noticed that uh, that turning all the way this upper caliper bolt is is hitting the shock. Now I sent an email to Scarebird and they replied back very very quickly so they uh, apparently knew about the problem but did not have it on their information sheet I have asked them if they can update their sheet so uh, so other people know that it's a potential problem so hopefully anybody else buying it from now on will not have well will know that they will possibly have to uh, get new bolts now they've they've told me to get the uh, caliper bolts and sleeves. It's, it's a kit. They come two, they come uh, two bolts and two sleeves to a set uh, for an eighty to eighty five Chevrolet Citation, I believe. And if you're getting it from O'Reilly's, this is uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is the part number. It's H five zero three three. Once again, it comes with two sleeves, two of these and two bolts. These, the, uh, according to Scarebird, are about three quarters of an inch uh, shorter than what's in here already. So with that, with these being in there, should clear, uh, only replacing the upper because the lower is not, the lower caliper bolt is not hitting anything. So I don't have to worry about that one. But uh, let's get it out and install this new one and see how it does. All right, let's get a look at it. Now that's definitely shorter. And the bolt, the head of the bolt actually can slide into the caliper a little bit, so this going into the caliper should not be an issue because we got plenty of travel. But uh, let's get this in. First, I want to try to get this. I want to try to get this sleeve off. It's pushing so I can see. There we go. Came off easier than I thought it would. And the new bolt. Where did it go? There you are. Let's get this in. Let's start it by hand. Wow, oh, that's actually smaller. Now the hex on that is smaller, so we'll, let me get my socket. Let's see. Now the smaller one, this new replacement is, and find the size on it. I don't see the size on it. I'm not sure what the size is, but it is smaller. Okay, here we go. That's going in. Okay. All right, that's in. And without without this on, let's turn it and see how it does. Uh, the other side I haven't fixed yet, so oh yeah, got plenty of room. Got plenty of room between there, and I might cut off this uh, all this rubber from from here up. Since the head of the bolt is actually in, is actually inside of the caliper right now, 
which is fine. But let me, uh, I'm going to have to trim that, trim that off and put this back on just so it has a little bit of a rubber right there. But uh, I think I'm good. That's definitely good. It is not touching. And problem solved. There we go. There's the fix for that. There's my update. And I do have a adjustable proportion valve. Especially right here. From SSBC. Uh, one of my followers on Facebook actually gave this to me. I'm uh, very thankful because it, it saved me some money. He, he hadn't used it. So, and uh, it comes with, if you go with the SSBC version, it comes with two of these fittings right here that screw into the side. Now, my dad has saved a lot of brass fittings like this. So, I actually had two 90 degrees like this that I was able to, uh, that I'm able to put in. That way the lines can come in straight in the bottom. So, so they're not, so I don't have lines coming up and over and it's just a, it's just a cleaner look. And this is just some extra line ends. Now, uh, when you're doing custom brake work like this, you can get, uh, uh, lines already made in, in certain lengths but sometimes those lengths are going to be a little too long and you might have to trim them down so you will need a uh, single and double flaring to, uh, uh, brake line tool and there's plenty of videos online uh, on YouTube uh, to see how to do that so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about doing a video on that but uh, yeah, there's my fix for that. I've still got to do the other side. But it's definitely looking better. And I will see y'all later. I did want to add one thing. I forgot to tell y'all that I looked up the... Uh, since, I, since I got to get a new master cylinder for the charger, I need to get a disc drum master cylinder. I looked up the part numbers on the drum on the uh, uh, four-wheel drum master cylinder on the char on my charger and on my truck and they're and they're actually both the same part number now I, I am gonna have to replace the master cylinder on the truck uh, I've, I've tried to replace it before but the the brand new one crapped out on me so I had to send it back and just put the old one back on and I just never got a new one but the part numbers are the same, so I will be transferring the uh, master cylinder off the charger and put it on the truck. So I, so when I get the new master cylinder for the charger, I can just put it on. But uh, that's what I'll be doing next with the truck. Uh, the truck needs some wiring work, but I'm not going to be tackling that right now. But um, I'm should have uh, sometime in December uh, sometime in the first week or two in December I should have all my parts to get the charger back down on the ground and uh, once it's back down on the ground I get everything bled and uh, set and uh, and uh, set up right with the proportioning valve I will be doing a driving video showing how well the disc brakes work I'll see y'all later